What's up you guys, Jaden here with the Moonlight Craftsman channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can run a simple test at home without any special or expensive equipment. And we are going to find out at the end of this video whether this is a real silver bar or did I buy a counterfeit? Coming up. So this video is a little bit off topic, but we don't discriminate against any metals on this channel. And I know that some craftsmen do use precious metals in some of their work, so it might be useful to somebody out there. And anyways, I just got this bar at a coin shop and I, you know, being a bar, you know, you could stick in a piece of lead or zinc um, inside here and then just pour silver around it uh, to, you know, and sell, sell it as silver, obviously, because silver is worth more money. But, uh, so I asked the guy if he had a spectrometer, which is just a, a, a testing equipment to test electrically, you know, whether it's silver. And I thought it was kind of odd that he, they said that they didn't have one. So I did buy one and I did want to run a test at home though, to make sure that it actually is silver. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just weigh the bar <clears throat> in grams. I'm just using a food scale here. And it comes out to 763 grams. So I'm gonna write that down. And in a troy ounce, there's 31.1035 grams. And this bar is marked 24.5 ounces. So just gonna divide that by that and we should get about 24.5. So let's see what we get. So we divide that and we come up with 24.53 one ounces so it weighs a little bit heavy and obviously these people that make these bars don't really want to give you a free silver so that you know could be a little suspicious but this is an older bar where you know new, newer coins and bars would be right on so but this is older uh, so we're going to run another test because, you know, if this is counterfeit, they can get it pretty close to the weight, but we got to take the volume into account. And that's what we're going to do next. So what we're going to do is we want to find the density of this uh, bar right here. And we want to compare it to the known density of silver, which is 10... 10.49 grams per centimeter cubed. So to do that, we know the grams of the bar. And so we need to find how many centimeters cubed this is. And luckily for us, our buddy Archimedes, he figured out that when you submerge an object heavier than water in water, there's a buoyancy force. And the buoyancy force, even if it's heavier than water, and the buoyancy force is equal to the amount of water displaced by the object. And another smart guy, which I don't know the name, uh, made the system work out to be that one, that the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. So all we have to do is measure the buoyancy force of this bar and in grams, and that will equal how many centimeters cubed this is. So now you could uh, you could use like a fishing type scale, you know, and measure, 
you could measure the uh, buoyancy force and it would be the difference between the weight and what it says on the scale. But our other good buddy, Sir Isaac Fig Newton, uh, told us every force has an equal and opposite reaction. So um, we can actually measure the force from down below. So we'll just turn our scale on and we'll put the water on there. Doesn't matter how much water you have. And we're gonna zero out the scale. And we're going to fully submerge our bar and try and hold it still and not touch the sides. And it looks like we are getting a measurement of about 73 grams. which would be the buoyancy force. So, and we know that water is one gram per cubic centimeter. So we know that we have 73 centimeters cubed. That's what our object is. So we just divide those two and we get 10.45. So that's pretty dang close. Um, you know, in order for a counterfeiter to get it that close, you know, they would need a piece of different material inside there plus an air pocket. And then you're getting into way too much trouble than what it's worth. So I'm really confident that this is a real silver bar and i'm glad to hear it thanks for watching guys be sure to like and subscribe we'll see you on the next one